Welcome, friends, and this one is take a look at deriving the equation of a sphere in three-dimensional space. So we begin by just sketching this out a little bit so we can understand things better. So make an axis this way, make an axis going straight up, and then make an axis going to the right. Remember, this here is called the x-axis, this is called the y-axis often, and that up there is called the z-axis. So we have x, y, z, three-dimensional space. And then within here, draw a sphere somewhere. So you might first begin doing that by doing the following. I draw a cross section this way. Now to make it spherical, I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of flip it 90 degrees. And I'm going to put it nicely at the center, you see this way. And there's one last thing that we have to do. We have to kind of enclose this, these two within a circle. Looking at it face on basically. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do next. I'm going to begin at the center, I'm going to draw a circle out this way. And now as you can see, this is a pretty good two-dimensional depiction of a sphere. Here, let's make a key observation. There's a center point there, and then this, and it goes out to here. Now a sphere is just basically a collection of points of the form x, y, z that are the same distance from the center of the circle. So we might call this point, for example, x, y, z. And then that center point has to be given some name. So maybe we'll call it, say, C. And we'll give it the coordinates H, K, and then L. That's often done. Remember, though, that these are just still values of X, Y, and Z. And they kind of correspond to the center of the sphere. Now what we're going to do is the following. We're going to use the distance formula for three-dimensional objects. So in other words, the distance between those two points would be given by the following. You would do X minus H quantity squared. Plus, and then you would do here y minus k, that quantity squared, and then plus, and then you would do here z minus l, that quantity squared, this way. Then you square both sides of this, and we don't use d for whatever reason, we just use r. So in other words, d is for distance, but when you talk about this, because you're imagining that it now represents the radius of the sphere, so you're going to use r instead. And then you square both sides, so r squared would be equal to basically this expression right here. Everything under the root symbol, because squaring the right side would make the square root symbol go away. So r squared would be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus z minus l squared. Lastly, sometimes what's interesting is when you said h, k, and l each equal to zero. That means you are basically centered on the origin. That's why h, k, and l each is set equal to zero. In that case, you get a sphere centered on the origin. The equation of the sphere is r squared is equal to the following. x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And that's the equation then of the sphere and the origin. And that is it. So if it's been helpful, insightful, friends, please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.